All right, y'all. Uh, so, again, I'm using my example of white because white is the spring that I use for this down here. This is all the procedures that you need to be able to do. Okay. So, again, in order to get this X, we subtracted these two numbers here. And then to get force of gravity, it was mass times 9.81. So this is my data set here. You're going to, in your calculator, first off, press mode. And I want you to go up and make sure you have stat wizards on and stat diagnostics on. Those two should be on. Once you've done that, press quit. So again, that was mode and you scroll up. Just make sure stat wizards and diagnostics are on because we're going to need that later. We quit and we go to stat. So you press stat and then edit. Under edit, you're going to plug these numbers in as your L1 and these numbers as your L2. We're going to plot L2 over L1 or this number over this number, which is going to let us get our K value. When we solve for spring constant, K is Fs over X. We cannot just divide those numbers. We have to plot it. So that's what we're doing here. Once you have all your data in here and you press graph, it should come out something like this, but you probably don't have the line yet. So in order to get that line, we're going to press stat again. You're going to go to the right to calc. You're going to go down to linreg. Press enter on linreg AX plus B. You're going to go down to store reg EQ where it's flashing here. You're going to press vars for variable. That's right here. You can go to the right to where it says function, and then you're going to press enter twice. When you do that, it should put Y1 here, and you press calculate. I'm going to go through that like three more times so you can see that. This number right here for my white one was 41.8. That is the slope of your line. That's the number you're putting here for your spring constant. Okay, so you guys know what the number should come out to. They should come out very close to these numbers right here. Red should be about 25 newtons. When it says plus 10% or plus or minus, that means it could be 22 and a half or 27 and a half, somewhere in between there. Okay, same thing. 30 plus or minus 10%. Yellow is 35. White's 40. So that means I should have been 44 to 36, and I'm definitely within that range. The closer you are to 40, the better. And then green is 50. So these are the numbers you want to be close to when you plug it in. Your R squared should be about 0.99. If it's 0.98 or worse, that means we probably wrote a number down wrong or our measurements were not good. So that shows you what your error is. If you're 0.99, then we are good. Okay. Now, what I need you to do from here is press graph. I'm going to have you do zoom out. So you're going to press zoom. And then you're going to go down to zoom out, which is three, and press enter. And that's, ooh, I zoomed out too much. I got to zoom in a little. You want it to be about here, okay? Why do I want it to be here? Well, what we're doing now is this, okay? Once you've got this value, once you've got this set up, I want you to go down here, okay? If you've got white here. We've got 0.277, I've got 0.454, so I found how far my spring stretch is 0.177. Y'all should have this number, okay? What we're going to do, we cannot plug it into the equation because we need to basically know where at on this graph is 0.17. So what we're going to do here, once you've got this graph up, you're going to press second, trace. You're going to press enter on value, and then you're going to plug in how far it stretched. So for mine, that's 0.177, and I'm pressing enter here, and it's going to return a Y value. This Y value is the spring force because it's telling me what the intercept is. The bottom, the number that I gave it was how far it stretched. The number that it's at in Y is the other point, and that's 8.518 for mine. Again, your number should be a little different or probably different. And then in order to get the mass, all we do is we divide this number by 9.81. I got 0.868 kilograms. The actual mass when I masked it was 888 grams or 
eight kilograms. So I'm very, very close. You'll use that to get your percent error here. Okay, questions? Okay, I'm gonna repeat the whole process one more time. So, from the beginning, make sure we're in mode, stat wizards on, stat diagnostics on. You go to stat edit, you plug these numbers in as your X or as your L1, these numbers as your L2. From here, you press stat, you go to the right to calc, we're gonna to go to Linreg in store reg EQ. We press the bars or variable. Bars or variable. You go to the right, press enter twice. Boom, boom. Once that's there, you press calculate. This number up at the top, 41.8. That is your spring constant. This is what you're answering at the top for each color. You got to do this for all of them, not just the one that we brought that we just did. So you're going to do this procedure for all of them, okay? That gives you, again, your R squared should be 0.99. Let's go ahead and write our R squared value. Okay, give me three digits on the R squared. So my R squared, I'm going to note that mine is 0.999. That just shows me, hey, this number is really good, okay? Um, so do that on each of them. From here, you go to graph. You can zoom in or out. What you need is mine is fine, but you need the whole thing to show here. Does that make sense? If you're zoomed in too much, you can't see it. If you're zoomed out, it can't trace it. Now from here, you do second trace, and you plug in this number here on value, 0.177. That will get you your spring force, and you're good from there. You don't have to do this for any other graph this bottom part but you do need to get your a value and your r squared value here questions okay i'm gonna stop recording let's see